Hello guys, Monday. It's actually Sunday evening and I'm about to start. Remember I said the garden's a mess? Let me give you a rundown. Let Darren's mowed it. Um, look at this, the mess. All of that needs weeding. All of that, all around there. And wait till you see this. That post is holding the fence up that they still haven't been to sort. Look at all that, that's all. A lot of that is, um, what sort I'm looking for? Um, nettles, so that's gonna be fun. Look at all the paving. So I'm about to start. I probably will be some time. Hello guys. It is, um, what day is it? Monday. Um, I've already recorded a little bit yesterday, Sunday, um, to start the vlog off because last week's was quite long. Um, my grandest funeral is going to be on Wednesday, as I suspected. Um, so Isaac will be getting out of school for half the day anyway. Um, we're just heading up to Dobby's at the minute to get, I want to get some soil to sort of replenish what I took away yesterday and um, maybe a couple of little plants. So that's what we're doing right now. Every time I get in this car, I really need to clean it out. I bought this like, you know that, what's it called? You know like that gel that like molds oh, into yeah, places yeah. that takes out all the dust and little crannies. I wonder why, the, oh is that the workmen there? I was going to say they don't seem to be working today. Look, no. it's raining and my bloody shoes are outside. They're not going to get all over wet. That's why I didn't want to put them out. Darren put my shoes outside and now they're, it's going to be sucked. I put them in a the washing machine last night because stink. they do not stink because they were really filthy after I'd done the gardening. I shouldn't really have put those on. I shouldn't have. I should have changed them. But they're like my most comfortable trainers, so it's just a bit of a bummer that they're not going to be so good. I checked the weather forecast and it said it was not going to rain today. There's no rain forecast, so I don't know what's that. That's typically the day I want to do some gardening. Um, I don't think there's much else to tell you other than I need to clean the car. We need to go through, or the car wash we take the car through normally. We went to yesterday and it's shut. So the car is just really scratchy. It needs a proper good clean out on the inside. I'm on the outside and I'm behind a tractor. I have to keep reminding myself at this time of year, everything takes longer because there's always farming machinery on the roads. If it's not a tractor, it's one of them harvesters or it's a slurry spreader. Do a trailer reaction. A trailer reaction, yeah, he's got a trailer at the back. Right, I'm not going to waffle because you know I have a tendency to do too much. So I need to get up here, get my stuff done back before Isaac gets back from school. So um, that's the plan for today. I shall maybe film some plants and stuff in Dobby's for you. That'll be exciting. Um, I shall speak to you later. There, so you can see what I see, eh? Great. It's very windy, I don't know if you're picking it up. We need to get a pound coin for the trolleys because we don't we don't have any change. I've only got change and I have pound coins. Quite like in these. But they look like the flower would break off really easily. really expensive, it's like a tenner. $7.99, I might get one of those. That would be quite nice. Yeah, might get one of those. Let's see what else. Oh, they're nice, and they're nice.
They're eleven ninety nine. Why is everything so fucking expensive? They're eleven ninety nine. Right, definitely one of these because I've always wanted puppies. Well, these all just break in the wind. These are beautiful. Oh, look at those. Three forty nine. Oh my god, I might have to get them, even though they might be a bit. Three fifty. Sorry, I guess there's a lot of people about. It's really hard to fill them. I might have to get this, even though it is three fifty. Come on, come back this place. Darren's gone on the quest to change to change some money for a pound coin. Heather, I like Heather. I can't believe how many plants there are. It's like Jesus Christ. Tell you what I like, sweet pea. I keep getting drawn to purple flowers, don't I? Oh, these are beautiful. Twelve ninety nine. They can stay beautiful. I can't afford them. <sighs> Have to get some of the cheapy ones. Gonna get one of those. Um, one of those lollies at three fifty. Now these rhododendron. I love these, but sixteen ninety nine is a a lot. Mm. Oh, they're nice. Twelve ninety nine. Honestly, it's, there should be a fucking section with a sign above it that says like bargains or cheapy stuff. All right, we're in the shop now. Let's show you what I've got on my trolley. If Darren stops moving. Can you just stop moving? Right, I've got these lilies. I've got these, which I don't think it's going to flower, but they're £1.50. I've got those little pink things for the hanging basket and these ones, which haven't flowered yet for the hanging baskets. This is for my little, like, I've got a little wheelbarrow type thing. And the colours. I'll go leave it back. I thought that was one black but now I'm saying it's not um, these are sweet peas which when they flower are gorgeous and then there's this little pink one and a couple of new hanging baskets so Darren's now going to have to leave or he's going to have heart failure when it gets to the checkout yeah I'm on palpitations now I can sense it like the spider sense it could be worse I could ask you to pay for it right so this is Dobby's the best thing about Dobby's is that you're allowed dogs in with you Oh look, seeds for oh, these cute seeds for kids. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Encourage kids to plant some stuff and then they may eat veggies. Chance of it a fine thing with Isaac, I'll tell you. Right, we're just going down here to go through the checkout. Then we're going to B and M um, to pick up. Like I need a new trowel, and the cheapest trowel. And here's a fiver, and I refuse to pay a fiver for a trowel. I'm sorry. Right, I shall um, check on you guys later quite as bad as I thought. 52 pounds, which is a lot, I know, but I only buy plants once a year. So this is, this will do me for the summer now. All I need is a trowel and um, some bamboo sticks and that's me sorted, me done. Now the wind's starting up again. This is the new ones planted. That's painted lady runner beans. That's sweet peas, it's a little bit of shamrock. My Lily, and as Darren pointed out, Bradford City colours, great. Um, I put some fresh soil down here. I can't mix it in anymore because I'm knackered. 
These are all old ones. That I took out of the hanging basket. It's growing green shit, so I don't know what it is. So it's my little owl, my little primrose. So right, that's one I bought today. This is really weird. These bushes, Darren found them in a skip once and took them because they were just bare like stalks. There was just, just wood, but they go really bushy like later in the summer. But when they flower, they flower without leaves. It's a bit strange. I don't know what they are. That died, but the birds like to sit on it. Um, that's another little one I bought today, that little pink one. I planted, I planted that shoot to see if it'll grow. And these are just old ones here. Oh, and there's my little, my little hedgehog. There. So, now to show you the mess. That's holding up the, my shoes. Rosebush hasn't started yet. This is the messy bit. This is the bit that Darren's supposed to be sorting out, hence the messy bit. Um, stuff there's going to the tip. He's put weed killer on those nettles, but it's not going to kill them, it never does. So they'll need to all be pulled out. But yeah, I've done for now. That'll do me, for now. <laughs> You can see what time it is. I can't really show you everything, but the bed's all weeded. It's not 100% finished. I've got the wee bed weeded over there as well. We need to do bits and bobs tomorrow, but I'm going to buy some more soil and a couple of more little plants tomorrow, but it's a lot better than it was, folks. But look at that lovely sky. It's about, I don't know, about half a year or so? Maybe nine? No, it's more than half a year. Oh, it's 20 past nine. I've been doing this for three hours now. There's Dobby. Hello, Dobby. It's past barbecue banger time. There's Molly. Oh, dear me. Right, guys. I'll maybe film some in Dobby's tomorrow while we're having a look at some plants. Um, but that's a wrap for tonight. Oh, they're moving that. Right, I'm in my mum's. There's my dad's DVDs. It's the time of evening where the chase is on and I'm going to fill them out the window and hope this guy doesn't see me. He's supposed to be taking away that shed. I think he's going to see it and say there's too much. He can't take it. Um, we shall see. Darren was meant to tell him exactly what was there, but he's looking a bit sheepish. It is Thursday, well, is it? No, it's not it's Wednesday. I've got on the way to my grandest funeral. Obviously, I'm not going to film it. Um, it's in the chapel ahead of us, so that's what's going on today. I shall check in with you later. There, you hear that? A bit of chainsaws going on. That guy's cutting up the shed to go to the tip. I tell you what, he's working hard for his 50 quid. Hello guys, I realise I'm a mess and I'm just going to bed. I'm sure I've got like spray, stuff that covers grey on the forehead so it's not dirt. <laughs> um, the the Emma Grandis funeral, I just thought I'd catch you up. Last time I recorded was, um, actually I recorded the guy outside taking the shed apart, that poor guy. I'll give him an extra 20 quid for, on top of what we paid him because he had such a job taking it apart with um, the chainsaw and then when he had it all packed in the trailer um, he texted Darren, Darren was in the house at this stage, he says um, my car battery's flat so Darren managed to get him jump started and it was really good, he cleared the shed completely so yeah, funeral was quite different from a usual Catholic funeral um, they have like mass usually and there's not that much about the person usually a couple of minutes and it's usually not very personal now you might think, oh well I don't like the sound of that, but I hate funerals, I can't bear them. 
and I find it easier if it's not personal. I find it exceedingly difficult if it's very personal, especially with music. Um, I like they usually just say who the person was, who's left behind, like they list the family's names, they'll say a few bits and bobs, but no more than a couple of minutes. Well, this priest went on and on and my dad was going to do this at one stage and I'm like, no, you're not. He just kept talking and talking. They, first, he forgot what day it was. Then he called my granda by the wrong surname. Then he left out my dad's brother that died a few years ago of MS, but mentioned a stillborn baby that my, my granny had had years ago when they listed all the kids. Um, He forgot my granddad's name multiple times. Um, he got his year of birth wrong. He had him at 101. He was 94. Um, but he told these stories and stuff and it was really, really personal. Um, especially with reference. I'm not going to go into details. I don't want to start fiffing again. You know, especially with reference to what he was like with family and with children. And I have like really fond memories of being like a little kid and going up to my, my granda's house every weekend. I was never close to my granny, but I was my granda um, when I was a kid. Uh, but it was difficult. I don't know how my mum, I think my mum's medication has her completely just dulled down. I really struggled holding it back. I, I did cry and not audibly out loud, but I had to get the hankies out. The tears were tripping me, you know, the nose was going so embarrassing, you know, it's people look at you because I had to sit at the back with my mum because my mum's in the wheelchair and she can't get right up the front of the rest of the family so I just hate you know it just today just cements in my mind how much I don't want a funeral like that um I just want like celebration of life like after the funeral everyone went down to the BT club which is a little pub um you know when they had sandwiches and you know a buffet and everybody had a few drinks. My dad came back plastered. Obviously, I had to stay with my mum in the house so I couldn't go. My mum didn't want to go down because it's not really accessible for her. There's nowhere to get to the bathroom. And she's embarrassed about it because her MS is so considerably worse over the last few years. And she wouldn't have seen some family members and she's embarrassed with all the people around. So I stayed with my mum and I'm so tired, like trying to get her in and out of wheelchairs and toilets and I'm just bollocks. Then my dad came in half pissed and he's in agony and can barely walk. Someone had to give him a lift home. Um, so then I thought there's no way I'm letting him near that oven. So but my mum didn't want her dinner at the stage we needed to go home. So I made her dinner and wrapped up so she could just heat like my dad could just heat it in the microwave later on so that he's not going near an oven. Um, yeah, but it was a long day very tiring and the funeral was quite upsetting um but you know I'm, I'm a person that doesn't like funerals and I get upset quite I say upset quite easily I'm not a crier in life I don't tend to get like that but I do tend to get emotional about stuff usually films um but funerals I really struggled in a big way at Darren's mum's because it was the first personal funeral I'd ever been to Darren's mum wasn't religious so there was no it was just like um, in a funeral home where they, they talked about her and they played her favourite songs, like they played Status Quo and Fleetwood Mac and stuff. Um, you know, things she loved in life. And that that was really, really hard. I, I, Darren held it together better than me and it's his mum. So I don't do well at funerals. I refuse to have one because I don't... It's just not for me. I'd rather have a celebration of life. Um... I just hate the fact that everyone, <laughs> it's a day almost to make everyone sad and I don't like it. Um, So I'll just be having the, you know, you see it on TV, you send off or they take the body and then they send back the remains. Um, And then I'm going to have a, this is a morbid conversation, you know, where you get planted and then they plant like a tree or a rose bush or something on top of where you're buried in like a little biodegradable pot. That's what I want. That's what I think graveyards should be replaced by. They instead of gravestones and a graveyard, what if we had like beautiful parks and every tree and every bush and every plant was a person? We could have benches dedicated to people so you could go and sit in this beautiful garden rather than a 
called Cemetery. I'm not saying Cemetery is a really cool place, it's really interesting to go about and read all the old stones, but I don't know, I just think we could better utilise space than graveyards. But there you go, it's done. It's over. That's my last grandparent away now. You know, to get to my age, 48, yes, ancient, um, and to still have a grandparent is quite something. So that's my last one. Um, my mum's grandparents, my other grandparents died so much younger. My granny was 63. She only just turned 63. My granddad was 71. My granddad that died to, was buried today was 94. And my granny was, I believe, 91, something like that. She was quite old too. So, yeah. I should go to bed, folks. Um, I just wanted to update you with today. So, yeah. Tomorrow's my wedding anniversary. Um, we're not doing anything. Um, I don't, we don't get each other. God, please, I hope Darren hasn't got me anything. I've just got a card because I, I just... These, like, anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, Valentine's Day, it's, it's just an excuse to get people to spend money and we don't have it to spend it. So it's like, no, stop. So I'm really hoping he hasn't bought me anything. Um, but yeah, we will be... 14 years married tomorrow and 19 years together so to next year 2025 we'll have been together 20 years that's scary so yeah i shall speak to you guys later in the week hello we're back haven't just found where to drop isaac off it's They're obviously as well. obviously it wasn't <laughs> just me usually we drop isaac off at a very particular point um but they've picked a different point this time, so um, everybody's madly looking for it. We've just found it. Um, yes, we didn't say this when Isaac was in the car because it had moaned something shocking. We're going to get now a nice meal for our anniversary, even though it was yesterday. Because, and we're not tight, Isaac has went with us every single year, but it's like now, it's so expensive, like, to take him as well. And um, look at these two, honestly. Walking on rock sand. Um, two girls walking side by side on the road. Um, there's no footpath down here. Um, and all the cars are all sort of like having to drive really slow. Um, yeah, it's so expensive for the three of us. So, um... Kelly and Dave, our friends in Nottingham, sent us some money over for our anniversary. She does every year. Far too flipping much. So is it, is it Kelly's idea that we helped her out? No, it's not, but um, it's my idea. Um, I'm not even getting into being crude, if that's what you're at. Look at him, BMW, typical. Um, if there's an ism, against BMW drivers, I'm guilty of it. BMW-ist, I don't know. So yes, we're going to somewhere called The Grouse, which is like a nice pub that sells, you know, just like, food. not extortionately priced food, but nice food. We've already both picked what we want so that we don't have to get that point where they leave us and come back, so that we make sure we've got enough time when Isaac's at Scouts to get our dinner in us and hopefully a little pudding after. I'm having chicken Atlanta and Darren is having what he has every time he goes anywhere. It's either fish and chips or gammon. gammon. He's having gammon. Like gammon. Um, gammon. And then whether what we have for dessert will, will depend on how full we are. Because the gammon empty was. Yeah. Right, so what I'll do is, if we're not sat in a really like obvious place with people looking and I don't look like a complete cult I'll show you my dinner when it comes. You'd have some over there in Canada with his hot chocolate. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going on to that story, so I want to start waffling. Um, I think that was the first time I'd probably met your mum as well. I'm not counting the time that she came out when my car had broke down. That was the pr first proper... That's where we're going now. Um, I haven't been, the last time I was in this pub is when we went out for a meal for our anniversary. How long ago was that without Isaac? Isaac was so young 
he couldn't go out for a meal. You know what I mean? He would have been two or three. This this will be the last time I was in this place. So um, yeah, I shall um, check in with you guys later. Have you any with one thing witty to say? No. <laughs> I'm too hungry. Right, here's my grub. I've got chicken Atlanta with mash and Darren's gone. Yeah, Got on.